welcome ladies and gentlemen welcome back uh, today we're going to go and look at Batchwood Hall um, it was a nightclub for about 40 years and then they closed it down due to Covid so uh, it was actually a Covid centre after that as well uh, but I'll tell you more information when we get up here I mean and now there is a golf course there's a sports center up here um, that does all kinds of stuff so that's uh, quite a good good situation up here I mean it's quite picturesque to be quite honest I must admit it's uh, quite a lovely little place to come up to the driveway is a little bit of a longish driveway um, but with these like residential homes that used to be um, they did have them in the old days. They had all the old long driveways and everything like this. I mean, this land is beautiful around here. It goes to a bit of a dark situation in a minute, but we'll uh, get past that in a second. It does get a bit uh, creepy, as we say. <laughs> and so we're just getting all the way up here. We'll be up here in a second. Be up here on the left-hand side. You'll see it pop up on the left-hand side of your screen in a minute, guys. There's so much history behind this uh, this place. There's uh, quite a lot, to be quite honest. Um, it dates back to 1800s. It's been burnt down. There's so much happened to it, um, and it still survives now. Um, at the minute, it's not being used. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, what is coming up around this corner, I give you Batchwood Hall. Right in front of you now, guys. So what I'll do is uh, I'll get out and I'll tell you some facts about it. Oh, right, guys, as you can see, we're at Batchwood Hall now. Uh, all completely disused at this precise moment. It used to be a nightclub, like I said. It had been like that for 40 years. Uh, and then it closed down due to COVID, like everything else did in those days. Um, it was built in 1874 for Edward Bennett. Um, he, um, he was the designer of the Big Ben clock as well. Um, there was a big arson attack here um, a long time ago and uh, the whole place burnt right down to the ground and um, so it was rebuilt and um, this one this is about um, the Batchwood turret uh, Lord Grinthorpe's Batchwood turret clock which is that up there that's the clock up there they're talking about but this place burnt down. Um, I can't remember the day to be quite honest. But um, I used to come here when I was a kid, a teenager. I used to go clubbing here. I clubbing here all the time. I used to come in these doors, go through. Club Batchwood. I used to come here doing it all the time. Night clubbing it and that. It was a good little place. It was small indoors, I must admit. But it was still a nice place to go, but as you can see, it's all overgrown and disused and everything on it. It's, it's an old building right here. There's a, another thing about it. About Batchwood Hall there. I mean, it's on this site now. There's a golf course, and as you can see right behind us, you also have Batchwood Sports Centre. No swimming pool in there, but they do all, all other stuff in there. Tennis, gyms, everything like that. Obviously, there's the car park. But um, this houses stages of people, uh, famous people that come here, and I club in it, uh, performing in there as well. There was so much to do here. 
Um, like I said, it's a very, very old building. It was uh, designed for Edward Beckett. Excuse the, uh, the shakiness of the camera. You know what I'm like, I haven't got my gimbal with me today. It's just a quick one to uh, get out. There's the clock that they're on about. change hands. Sorry, I've got to be a paper in my hands, guys. Just so I can write down a bit. <laughs> it's a very old place. Very old place. If I remember correctly, there used to be a couple of bars inside. Uh, you go around, there's a couple of bars to your left and a couple of bars to your right, and the DJ used to be in the middle. I mean, there's not a lot to see no more. It's just a shell. I mean, I went in there to have my COVID booster jab. I did recognise the place, even though I've been in there hundreds of times. But um, it was a great little place. It was the place to be in St Albans at the time. Real place to be. Despite it being what it was. And where it was to locate it, because it was a lot right down the back lane. But there even used to be a bus route from St Albans Town into Batridia. But uh, as you can see, it's no more now. Like everything due to COVID. Everything's just overgrown and disused. I mean, that bit there where you just saw, they used to hold barbecues and events in there. And you used to be able to see all these big lights. Just there, you used to hold up, and you'd be able to see that from anywhere in St Albans, those lights. So, in Lord Glimthorpe restored St Albans Church, which is now the cathedral, as seen today. The St Albans Church became in ruins and gave Sir Edmund Beckett a license to city restore and repair and refit entire cathedrals without interference and design ideas will be unchallenged to be financed and total restorations. Uh, Batchwood Hall, Lord Glenthorpe, 1816 to 1905. Born at Colton Hall in Newark. He was called Baron Lincoln, Charlie. He just wanted to, he lived here at the hall, which he designed and built in 1874. So he actually lived here. Okay. I mean, it's just nothing now, guys. It's, as you can see, this is the furthest I can get to it. This is the only place I can't, I can't get around to any other places on it, but uh, yeah, it's sad to see buildings like this go, especially with the heritage and everything else. And the history behind it and everything else. It's another big light that they used to use to light it all up with. But 
There's not much I can see without doing anything else and I don't want to be trespassing anywhere else I can. I'm just in the car park here, showing you the front of it, because that's all I can show you guys. I would love to show you more. I can get my fingers right in the way today. I mean, that's Batchwood Hall. Like I said, you've got the sports centre just over there. But that's it in a nutshell. 1800 house, burnt to the ground with an arson attack. It's now actually been sold on by the council. It's going to be a hotel, bar and restaurant. So at least it's going to get reused again, but it's still... A place with a lot of memories and a lot of history. Hmm, oh, what well, that was. Somebody's unlocked their car. Don't move away. <laughs> oh, now they locked it. I <laughs> don't think someone thinks I'm me, me walking around with a camera. I don't think they like it. <laughs> There's a nice clock there. The gentleman actually designed this build bit with Ben as well. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to call it on this. And then I'm going to show you the drive down and the picturesque site on the way down. I'll speak to you in a minute, guys. All right, let's have a look down the driveway on the way out. Because it is a one-way system up and a one-way system down. So, and it's quite got a picture, picturesque site of the cathedral, the hospital and various other places down here. So let's go and drive down here, let's have a look, shall we? Like I said, it can be a bit spooky, but apparently there's a lot of paranormal activity up here as well. Um, from what I read of online. Well, obviously dating back to 1800s, it, there probably would be. Uh, so, I couldn't actually tell you the truth, but I'd say there is. I mean, I personally believe in that kind of stuff, the paranormal. But everybody has their own views on it, so that's my personal view. But it's got a long driveway right the way down here, and then it comes up to a lovely view. If I can pull over, if there's nobody parked up here, because uh, a lot of people do park up here for, for their uh, dog walking and for the views. It's just coming up around this corner, I think. It might be another couple of corners, I think, actually, I'm not sure. But you'll know that you know, when, you, when you see it. It's set in a um, field, farmer's lands. So there's obviously farmer's land all the way around here. Around here. There's a big long drive um, up and down. Obviously buses used to run up here on nightclubs and stuff. Uh, you've got the uh, sports centre as well. It's just coming up around this corner in a second and you can see the picturesque sights of what I'm talking about. You can probably just see the cathedral popping up around about now. Oh good, there's no one parked here. I can park it. Let me park you guys and then I'll uh, I'll show you some pictures. Well, this is down by Batchwood. See the sun's going down over there. And right over there is St. Albans Cathedral. It's another tower over there, which is in the town. We've got the hospital there. It's just constant fields right round the 
Pass. Well, I think that's the lead one I could know there, isn't it? Well, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Let's get back in here and talk about it. Uh, oh dear. Oh, excuse the quickness of that. <laughs> if you like my video, please like and subscribe. I'd be much appreciated. Like, subscribe, comment, guys, because the uh, algorithm on YouTube is uh, quite hectic sometimes, so it needs it all. So, like, subscribe, uh, share, please, for us, and tell everyone about it. And come on, come and join us, because, like I said, you never know where we're going to go next. I do have a couple of places in mind, so it should be interesting to see them. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.